As we complete our installation, let's take a moment to look at the AP Systems Energy Communication Unit, or ECU. The ECU is our information gateway, collecting performance data from the solar array and relaying it to the AP Systems database and online monitoring system. Installation and setup of the ECU is covered in depth on both our online training webinar and ECU installation manual. But here are a few points to remember as you install your customer system. Inside the ECU box, you'll find the unit itself, a power cable, and a pre-supplied Ethernet cable. Installers have several options for both mounting the ECU and connecting it to the Internet. First, locate the ECU as electrically close to the solar array as possible, ideally plugged into its own dedicated outlet away from other appliances or devices which are also drawing power. Plug it straight into the power outlet, not into a power strip. This will help protect against data signal degradation that comes with power line noise. You can also wire the ECU directly to the solar system sub-panel or combiner box. Just remember, the ECU is not rated for outdoor use, so if installing outdoors, make sure that you place it in an appropriate weatherproof enclosure, rated NEMA 3R or better. The ECU can be flush mounted to a wall or rest on a horizontal surface, as appropriate for the installation. Ideally, the ECU should have a wired Cat5 Ethernet connection whenever possible to help prevent signal disruption. However, the ECU also has built-in Wi-Fi capability to connect to the homeowner's wireless router when a wired network connection is not possible. For ECU connection, it's recommended that you plug in your internet connected cable first. Then, plug in the ECU power cable second. Connecting the ECU in this order is optimal for the shortest amount of startup and update time by the ECU. How you connect to the internet will be determined by the unit's placement and the location of the home router. But remember that a wired network connection is typically the most trouble-free throughout the life of the system. Connecting an ECU with Wi-Fi capability to the homeowner's internet can be done in a few simple steps. First, verify the ECU you have is Wi-Fi enabled by checking the serial number on the unit. If the serial number begins with 204, you have a Wi-Fi enabled device. You will also need the homeowner's Wi-Fi password to connect the ECU to their wireless network. Once powered up, the ECU will transmit a local wireless signal. Simply look for the ECU's SSID in your available wireless networks on your smartphone, tablet, or personal computer. For quick identification, the last four digits of the SSID will be the last four digits of the unit's serial number. Once connected, find the wireless IP address displayed on the ECU. Look for the W on the display screen of the ECU. Enter that IP address into a web browser address bar on your Wi-Fi connected smartphone, tablet, or computer just as you would a website URL. Selecting the Enter key will take you to the interface page for your ECU. By navigating the tabs, you can find the wireless network options for connecting the ECU to the homeowner's internet router. And finally, when initially connected to the internet, the ECU will immediately begin downloading the available firmware updates from AP Systems. This ensures that you have the latest software to track your solar array performance. To save you time, the ECU can be connected before the PV modules are installed so that the updating is completed by the time you're ready for commissioning the ECU. The ECU can then be synced up with the microinverters and the cloud using the AP Systems Array app, which we'll cover in our next video. For more information on ECU installation best practices, see the product manual at apsystems.com.